Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Ah, it's so quiet. You can practically hear butterfly whispers. But not for long. It's the first day of the annual Dalton family reunion, where peace and quiet are sure to be elusive. On the bright side, only six more days to go. Now, what better way to kill the time while Uncle Rico discusses his recent colonoscopy than to review the six types of chemical reactions? But before we move on from Uncle Rico's colon cleanse, anyone up for a smoothie? Dalton is combining strawberries and bananas into one delicious beverage, which is a great reminder of combination reactions, where two or more reactants are combined to form one product. These are also referred to as synthesis reactions, which makes perfect sense because chemists love unnecessary synonyms. While he blends away, let's see what his little sister is up to. Looks like she's about to dig into that deal. Uh -uh. I mean, decomposing sandwich. Yikes. But nonetheless, a helpful reminder that a decomposition reaction involves one reactant being split into two or more products, like how this decomposing sandwich was ripped into two pieces. Many decomposition reactions require energy input to occur. This can be provided by heat, light, or an external voltage source. While she gets a crash course in entomology, Let's make sure there aren't more of those sandwiches going around. Looks like Mrs. Dalton narrowly avoided her sandwich by replacing it with a single cocktail. That will help take the edge off and help remind you of single replacement reactions, also known as single displacement reactions, where one element in one compound is replaced by another element. Redox reactions in particular tend to lend themselves well to single replacement. Now, if we're dipping into the adult beverages, I'll take a double. Not what I meant, but okay. It looks like the Dalton twins are doing the double swap and replacing their lunches with each other's. That little exchange should help you think of double replacement reactions, also known as double displacement. In these reactions, elements from two compounds swap places to form two new compounds. Reactions that form precipitates or gases are typically double replacements, where one of the new combinations is a solid or a gas. Fittingly, this type of reaction can also be called an exchange. And if that makes too much sense, they're also referred to as metathesis reactions. Something smells like it's burning. I'm guessing Mr. Dalton will ironically call those steaks well done. But at least that burning meat is demonstrating a combustion reaction. These involve a substance reacting with oxygen gas and releasing large amounts of energy as heat or light. The substance is typically a hydrocarbon fuel, a compound containing only hydrogen and carbon, such as the propane used in a grill. When it reacts with oxygen, like the oxygen in the fresh outdoor air, hydrocarbons will create carbon dioxide and water as byproducts. You can recall this with those puffs of CO2-y smoke and the watery sweat collecting on Mr. Dalton's forehead. Now, is he sweaty from the flames or from the pressure of trying to impress his in-laws? Someone should tell him that once you reach a certain age, you shouldn't worry about impressing others. In fact, Auntie Agnes just may be the perfect person to teach that lesson with her famous snow-bake Swiss rolls. One bite out of those bad boys will make you wish that Swiss neutrality applied to your taste buds. She makes her rolls by mixing an acidic lemon with basic baking soda, which represents a neutralization reaction. These are reactions between acids and bases that neutralize their activity and typically produce salts and water, hence the salt and water on the table next to Agnes. Now, keep in mind that one chemical reaction can actually qualify as more than one type of reaction. For instance, neutralizations are a type of double replacement, and many combustion reactions are actually combination reactions as well. You can figure this out by examining the products and reactants in the chemical equation. Now, let's
let's recap while I wait for the perfect time to accidentally drop my Swiss roll for the dog. Combination or synthesis reactions combine two or more reactants into one product, while decomposition reactions split one reactant into two or more products. Single replacement reactions replace one element or ion in a compound with another. Double replacement reactions swap elements between two compounds to create two new compounds. Combustion reactions typically involve a fuel reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, water, and large amounts of energy. Neutralization reactions typically involve an acid and a base, reacting to form salt and water. Well, as gastronomically appealing as baking soda Swiss rolls, burnt meat, and maggot sandwiches are, I think I'll go crash a different family reunion. <laughs>